Within a matter of weeks, Ben Hall's gang went from five members to two. The surrender of Vane and the deaths of Burke and O'Mealy had little impact, with Hall and Gilbert once more conducting hold-ups on the Queen's highways, at times holding as many as 40 people hostage whilst they robbed them of their cash and goods. By the new year of 1864, Ben Hall and John Gilbert's partnership goes into recess and the two separate. Gilbert once more returns to Victoria and Hall remains in his home territory staying with close friends and harbourers. By March 1864, Ben Hall is once more operating in the Western Districts, now on his own. Before long he recruits two new members to help him plunder the innocent. Jimmy Dunleavy, 17, and Tom Gordon, known as the Old Man. Now with his new gang, Ben Hall once more conducts daring hold-ups, steals valuable racehorses, attacks homesteads, visits towns, and has close quarter gun battles with the police, and in one fight, Hall is wounded. After a five-month absence from bush ranging, Johnny Gilbert returns and rejoins Ben Hall, and the gang quickly reignite the Western District with their exploits. On the evening of May the 20th, 1864, Ben Hall with Gordon and Gilbert arrive at the Bang Bang Hotel, with information from their telegraphs that five top racehorses are being held there. Ben Hall covers the hotel patrons on the veranda as Gilbert and Gordon move to the stockyard. As they ride in, two escort troopers, Constable McNamara and Scott, are feeding the horses. Gordon orders them to stand aside. At that, the troopers draw their revolvers and Gilbert fires off three shots. Unperturbed, the troopers advance across the yard, returning fire. The troopers split, with McNamara engaging Gilbert and Gordon and Scott advancing on Ben Hall, forcing him to retreat. A well-aimed shot from Scott blows the hat off Ben Hall's head. Shot after shot is exchanged, before the bush rangers rejoin and, defeated, ride off. Young Dunleavy, who was seriously wounded in the wrist from a previous battle, scared and disillusioned with life on the run, like Vane, surrenders to police. Gordon too leaves the gang and is soon captured. Gordon is sentenced to life and the boy to 15 years jail with hard labour. Within weeks, Ben Hall recruits another new member, John Dunn, 17-year-old jockey from the Yass district, who was a superb horseman and had a warrant out for his arrest. Before long, he is in the thick of the action as Hall and Gilbert bail up all travellers and merchants. Mid-morning on the 16th of November, 1864, Two and a half miles south of the town of Jugyong on the now Hume Highway, Hall, Gilbert and Dunn start to bail up all travellers as the gang wait for the mail coach from Gundagai to arrive. At three o'clock the coach came into view, escorted by Sub-Inspector O'Neill and Sergeant Parry, both on horseback, and Constable Roach riding on the box next to the driver. Hall, Gilbert and Dunn spur their horses towards the coach, firing their revolvers as they closed in. The two mounted troopers split, forcing Hall and Dunn to take on O'Neill and Gilbert to fight Sergeant Parry. Firing shot for shot, the police held their ground, as Parry, who had suffered a wound to the head from Gilbert, discharged his last round from his revolver and was in the act of unslinging his carbine, Gilbert fired once more. This time the shot entered Parry's back on the left side, passing through his body and exiting his right breast. The brave trooper slid from his horse, dead. O'Neill continued to fire until his ammunition expired. Outgunned and outnumbered, he surrenders. Constable Roach, in the meantime, fled the carnage. While Gilbert and Dunn guarded everyone, Hall ransacked the mailbags. With their plunder, including Sergeant Parry's horse and firearms, the gang departed, leaving the hostages to take the body of Sergeant Parry to Jugyong. Warrants for murder were now issued for the arrest of all three bush rangers, but first they had to be captured. I fight, but not surrender, cry the wild colonial boy. He fired a shot at Kelly, which did bring him to the ground. And he fired point like a Davis who fell.